This week I take a trip to one of the best golf resorts in Scotland with a longtime friend of mine. We laugh a lot, eat pies, drink whiskey, eat cakes, battle the elements, have some deep and meaningful chats and stay in some of the best golfers accommodation you will find anywhere and also one of the best clubhouses. Oh and yeah, I almost forgot, we play a little bit of golf along the way and it's fair to say it was a tad breezy. This place is the host venue of the Women's Scottish Open and final qualifying for the Open. Welcome to Dundon Lynx and this is Lewis Johnson. Minor detail I know but that's got to be the best shower I've ever had. That's so good. This accommodation's it? mint isn't it? So good, like for golfers, I love it. it takes a good facility to uh, get me warming up, doesn't it? Yeah, right. This is uh, enticing, I think, isn't it? I don't think how you could uh, you could make someone want to play golf after they've played golf. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to play a bit of a scramble format and we're going to attempt to break Rafa Cabrera Bale's course record of 64 blows. Play as a scramble, but the main thing is to show you around what is, first and foremost, a really good golf course. And following an unusually errant drive from Lewis, it was up to the man they call the postman to once again deliver. Let's make it clear, nobody's ever referred to me as the postman which still left a five wood into the first green and with a howling wind off the left, I tried to bring one in on the flag, only to leave a rather severe uphill putt and up stepped the real golfer amongst us and got us off to a par start. Normal service resumed on the second and ultra reliable Lewis boom one off the tee and had the audacity to hit driver off the deck into the green. I did say it was breezy. I think we should see that again. Absolute majestic. And rolls reverse from the first and I duly obliged with a tidy up and down. Great first two holes there, aren't they? Just strong ones as well. Update on the scores, we've pretty much kept it to level. Cabrera Bale is safe at the moment, we've made our way to the fifth. Um, I just wanted to inform the viewers really, our kind of friendship. 16, 17 years ago, yeah, yeah. you were an 18 year old whippersnapper. <laughs> I don't think I've ever been one of them. <laughs> and what was our, we, we sort of had a four ball together. Yeah, yeah, our winter league four ball was uh, you, 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 you and uh, Jeff, yeah, and uh, me and me and your dad Both said. Me dad, yeah. So uh, we, we you know, um, just as an it, age breakdown, first of yeah, all. Yeah, yeah, that was a, sort of the, the interesting. Thing. I, so I was eighteen. Yeah. Um, I think you were what, what maybe late thirties, weren't yeah. you? And then J Jeff and Sid would have been in their sixties. Yeah, yeah. Um, but that was our winter league four ball, wasn't yeah. it? So me and Sid and. And you and yeah. Jeff had been together for a, for a long time, four middle pair. It's just you know, interesting then, for me is that like the first point to make is about like without golf, yeah, yeah, those none of those friendships would exist. No, I didn't. I obviously I knew my dad before then. Yeah, but yeah, prior yeah. to that, yeah, yeah, didn't know 100%, you, didn't know Jeff. Yeah, definitely, so. definitely, and we still get out. You know, I mean, me, you, and your dad, you yeah. know, we still play, and it, yeah. I think it's uh, it's great. It's. Uh, What's Sid now? He's, he's in his 80s, Sid, isn't he? Yes, he is. Yeah. He won't thank you for telling everybody. No, no. Super shot, not played. It's a great drive. What's he playing? It's 158. Yeah. 158. It's a great little hole, isn't it? Bunker, burn, left. Yeah, trouble everywhere. Bit of wind. Do your best. Yeah. Still level par, by the way, if anyone's wondering. Yeah. 
Seven. It's the right club. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe we get that birdie roll going, mate. Okay, Lou, here we go. Sun's out. Time to get the, uh, the old birdie train going, I think. Roll out ball. Not Reckon. quite enough, I'm afraid. Oh my word. I can't believe that, can you? What a great effort. Oh. Dundonald is a model links of the highest standard. We have burns, steps into deep revetted bunkers, fairways lined with gorse and heathers. Decent front nine. I don't think we're going to break any records, but I've got a couple of surprises lined up today. And uh, since you were last here, there's something called the Bothy, which I want to show you. And we need it. Hi, mate. You okay? Oh, you like it, really? Stay quiet for me, mate. Come on. This is absolutely. Uh, no, mate. No, I'm okay. Thank you. Can I have what did he have to go for? Steve Pfizer. Beautiful. I know, but I don't want to try the macaroni for a bit. I haven't had that before. Is it really? Oh. You're enjoying that, aren't you? Going. <laughs> to stop off at the Bothy, that was the first surprise. Yeah. It's a nice halfway house, isn't it? And you've already referenced the pie. Yeah, sorry. But it was a no, great pie. It really was. I mean, yeah, it's so it good. good. Pie. And it's so warm in there. The only trouble is you can't sit in there too long, otherwise uh, you might get a bit comfy. Yeah, yeah. And end up back in the clubhouse and the bar and not back on the back nine. Yeah. But I just wanted to follow on from the friendship thing. The other thing was going back, I keep forgetting whether it's 16, 17 or 18 years, it doesn't matter. But back then we were similar, similar, similar handicaps. handicaps. Yeah, yeah. What happened? I'll let, well, I'll let you explain that. Because yours well, clearly, well, you've had more fun. You've had more fun, haven't you? I've had more fun, I've gone backwards. You so Yeah, anyway, yeah, so I've, not, I've not had that much fun. Wow, well, not Taking so less shots is not, not as fun. So I, Lewis was around a four handicap at that point. I was playing about five, five and yeah. a bit. I'm playing really good to it as well, weren't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it seems a long time ago, but obviously I've, I've, gone, I've gone average at best, as I've said, and you turned pro. How do you manage yeah. that? I don't know. I'd like to I'd sit here and say, oh yeah, loads of time, effort, you know, dedication. I don't know, things just look in it. No, I think there's, I mean, every, I I think there's all of the, can, all of the can... aforementioned. <laughs> I think continually playing, a lot of people get to like 18, like you say, and life takes over and stuff. And, and I think one thing I did was I, I sort of doubled down on like all of my spare time was golf. Yeah. I still try and make, make as much spare time for golf. Um, I still love it. Yeah. You know, and I think that's it. You know, I never really let other things get in the way. Do you not and think then, in all, just on that, in all sports, elite sports, you have to be that, first of all. Dedication is greater than the, the next man's, isn't it? Oh, you've got to love it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Cause it's, if, there's a lot of people that are dedicated, but you can, they don't love it. No. Like, and I, I love it. You do? Like, I love it. Yeah. I love coming out here. I mean, I don't love wearing this many layers, but, you know, um, that's I think is. that's the thing as well. And then like, I was lucky, wasn't I? I went to Australia. I went to Australia for a couple of years and I played with some really good lads. Um, and it's that continual nature of golf over there. Like there's no wind, you know, they have seasons obviously, but, um, and that was the thing I think, you know, ability wise, 
as much as I was a pro when I went out there. You know, I think that was... No, you ramped it up. I don't know yeah. what happened. I remember the first <clears> game back and I thought, Jesus Christ, who's this fella? Yeah. Where's he come from? Yeah, I was a four handicap with a PJ. I, was gonna, I, was I was a four handicap with a PJ card when yeah. I went out there. I thought I'll give him a whoop in here. <laughs> <laughs> Little did yeah. I know. So there you go. Anyway, we better get cracking on me. Back nine, sun's out. Gun's out. I'm just in by far your biggest drive of the day, mate. It must be the pie. Set. Yeah, good shot. Oh, come on. Once again, a huge thank you to today's sponsor, Tacoma Golf. Their support over the last five episodes has been amazing, and we are truly grateful. Look at that. I don't know whether the mine will be in or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it on? Yeah. And would you believe I finally hold a birdie putt? I've managed one birdie all day. Yeah. It's tough, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. What do you think of it as a golf course? Com accommodation aside, just as a golf course, first of all, where would you? I think the first thing I'd say is it's February. And look, yeah, bone like, dry. You don't have to spray your shoes off. You don't have yeah. to, I think that's underrated, it, especially the winter we've had. The other thing I'd say is, there's no weak holes, is there? No. That, and, that, and that's, I think, when people look for signature holes, and I think a lot of golf courses get rated on, oh, well, this hole and, and that hole. And I think the good thing about here is, and maybe it's because it's a newer design and stuff, it's, you feel as though that, there's been attention to detail on everything. You yeah. don't feel as though you, like nothing's been added on, has it? Yeah, you don't feel as though one hole's like just getting you from one good hole to another, and this yeah. is in the middle. Like it's good, isn't it? Yeah. And, and I think that's the. No, it's the, good. Um, the it's good just, thing I think is, it's a really underrated, overlooked as just how yeah, good of a track it is. Yeah, and probably more playable than than other championship courses. You know, it's not easy, but it's it's good, isn't it? And of course, no episode would be complete without photo of the week. Don't forget, Lewis or Andy, in the comments below. A strong par threes, aren't they? Yeah, I mean, as much as the greens are big. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, it's a big you know, green, they give you They give you a big target, but... There's also a lot of runoffs. There's a few big bunkers as well. In this wind, I've never hit so many three and four irons and three woods off the deck. I'm not sure what club you've given me, but I'm going to go with it and trust you. How is that staying straight? How is that staying straight? That was such a good ball. Looks like that. Left Looks trap, like. I think. Was it five wood? Yeah. Five wood. I'd have gone with that. Yeah, there, uh, so I'm in, I'm in the left trap. And the flag sits on top of the one, well, the right of the two. They're giving you a lot of green on the right hand side, but it's a long way from the flag. Oh, this is so good. This is so go good. Then. Could go in. Sit. Oh, that is a golf shot.
Get in. That's a great birdie on your own there, bud. In Cabrera Bay, oh, better watch out. The 16th is a tremendous golf hole and plays every inch of its yardage. And just a fireably stroke in next one on the scorecard. The 18th was played straight back into the teeth and there was no eagles to be had. Despite a driver and a three-wood effort from both, a wedge was still required to set up a birdie finish. And I'm pleased to say, Lewis stepped up and finished for a battle in three under par. Well, as good as that was, I am absolutely freezing, mate, and I've got uh, a bit of good news. There are saunas inside of the changing room. Oh, wow. So as well as burning oh, hot showers, I am ready for that. <laughs> Next up, it was time for some food in the Canny Crow and a quick game of pool. The second surprise of the day was a bit of whiskey tasting, which is fair to say we really both enjoyed. Slow. Cheers, Cheers. Personally, as a whiskey fan, it was right up my street, but I was surprised with Lewis. It's not his thing, but he got stuck in. And I have to say, it was a great way to end what was a great 24 hours in Ayrshire. All that's left to say is I'll see you next week.